Hi everybody and welcome to the Mental Toughness and Body Show. My name is Rob Evans and I'm your weight loss coach, health strategist and internationally published author, helping take your life, your business, your health and fitness and mindset and body from where you are to being unstoppable. And today we're going to talk about embracing pain, fear and doubt. Big topic. Any time that I have moved my life from one place to another in a significant way has come through pain, fear, doubt, emotional trauma. For me, I feel that there's probably about five like huge things that I've done in my life, huge transformations that have all come about as a result of pain. And here I'm talking about things like changing career, for instance, changing job to start with, like from, um, say, I worked as a chartered accountant, moving from there out into private practice and then uh, into the private industry, and then changing career after working as a chartered accountant for 19 years. Huge step, getting divorced. Huge step, having kids. Well, I didn't do it in that order. Had the kids first, um, got divorced years later. But, you know, big things like that that have had massive, massive impacts on my life and been the single biggest changes that I've had. If I go back further to my childhood, being bullied, being bullied had a huge impact on my self-confidence, my self-image and what I thought I was worthy of in this world. But because of those things I'm talking to you right now, because one day somebody threatened to kill me and I said, I'm not putting up with this anymore. I'm going to change my body. I'm going to get more self-confidence. And so I went and joined a gym. And that is almost to the day, actually, 33 years ago that I started that journey. And I was hooked the first time that I did my work out there. I just loved it and haven't looked back since. And barely a week has gone by where I haven't done a workout because I just love it so much. But again, it all came through pain. So we have a tremendous opportunity here today to self-reflect on all of those painful moments that we've had in our life, those events that come up from time to time. Maybe some come up once a year, maybe some come up every couple of years, maybe some come up daily for you but they revolve around the pain of something happening. They revolve around the, the fear of you doing or not doing something, the self-doubt that you have about your ability to achieve a certain outcome as a result of your values and your limiting beliefs that you carry around with you all the time, the stories that you keep saying to yourself as to why you can't do it. And so what do we do? Well, I liken this to the overweight or obese person that stays covered up in winter. They put layers and layers on so that nobody really needs to look at them. They don't feel as self-conscious as if it's warmer and they take more clothes off to stay cooler and people can see more of them and they feel more self-conscious. So this is like the, the pain, the fear and the doubt. We cover it up. We keep it pushed to one side. We keep just going through life distracting ourselves so that we don't truly address what the root cause of our problem is. Instead, what I want us to do is tackle these things head on so that they never become an issue for us again. We've all heard the FEAR um, acronym, false evidence appear, appearing real. It's our reality though. It's what we, we make up for ourselves as to why we can't do the things that we really want to do and why we we can't be where it is that we want to be. Now, every single person on this planet that has had incredible success has not done it easily. And they have had to go through a lot of heartache, climb a lot of mountains, jump through a lot of hoops and gone through a lot of pain to be able to get to where it is that they are now. But what they all have in common, all these successful people is they push the pain threshold and they look to adapt and they look to change. So there's a couple of tasks, five steps that I want you to go through today to use these skills over and over so that you can break through the fear, so that you can use the pain that you're going through as energy to completely change you.
completely move you to another level. And that's what makes it exciting. It's painful in the moment, for sure. I think back to all of those moments, and in the moment that these things are happening, it's incredibly painful, it's hurtful, it's emotional. But you know on the other side of this that the outcome is going to be amazing. Sometimes you don't know. And that's the thing, that's the doubt creeping in saying, gosh, what if I change career and it's a complete failure? What if I leave this relationship and I later discover it's the best thing that I've ever had in my life? What if, what if? You're never gonna know until you do it. And I can say this here right now, that with each of those very tough decisions that I've made, my life has never been better than it is right now, all because of making tough decisions. And yeah, they were hard in the moment. And the moment's beyond. Sometimes it takes a while to get through these things, but you have to know and have the faith that if you keep moving forward and you keep pushing into that pain, that you will get stronger, you will get more resilient, just like building a muscle. This is an emotional muscle and you keep pushing and you keep driving. But if we tackle it head on, you become a better person. So what I want you to do, just to run this via the, the little test here, I want you to think of a time, maybe it's a recent thing, maybe it's um, something a while ago, but something that was really, really painful to you. Something that has re re um, resulted in some fear, some doubt, emotional pain to you. I want you to think of what that moment is. And then I want you to write down this. You really need to not just think about this because you won't get deep enough if you're just doing it in your mind. Writing it down, I think, is a really powerful exercise. Now, you could take seven minutes for this whole task. So I just set aside a little bit of time to do this. And I want you to write down the second point here, which is what are all the emotions that you felt when you were going through that emotional trauma? Just stick with me. If you think this is a silly exercise, stick with me. Write it all down. And then I want you to write down what did you do? What was the action that you took as a result of this fear, the doubt, the pain that you were going through? What do you reckon the, the action most people take is? Nothing. They don't do anything. So they keep this thing hanging around forever. And it's like they're carrying around this anchor. And so that becomes heavier and heavier and more and more difficult to move. The more that the hook of the anchor digs into the ground somewhere, it becomes harder to pull along. Then I want you to write down number four, which is what's the outcome that you got? And if it was consistent with what I just said, nothing. The outcome was, well, you didn't, you didn't face the fear. You just avoided it. You didn't have that tough, dis uh, you know, that tough discussion. You didn't push hard enough. Maybe it's, uh, when, let's relate this back to your, your health and wellness and your body, for instance. Maybe your pain is, you need to lose 50 kilos because it's just so painful on my joints to be carrying all this stuff around. But also, I have no self-confidence. I feel horrible about myself. I don't have a great self-image. I'm not going to attract the partner that I want in my life because I want to be with somebody that's healthy and fit, but I'm not healthy and fit. So what hope have I got in doing that? You know, all the powerful things that are driving you to get a change. I've tried to lose weight before, but it was so hard, I just stopped. It's just too hard. So now I just don't think about it and hope that I'm not gonna get sick and I'll just make my hair look pretty and cover myself up with nice clothes and I can still get away with the fact that I'm happy in myself, but really I'm not. So that could be a painful time for you, writing down all the emotions about what it means for you the action that you took, I didn't, you know, you went and joined the gym for a while. Um, you started drinking a little bit more weed, water. You started having a few more salads for dinner. You started doing some strength training. I went for walks more, all that kind of stuff. What was the outcome? I lost two kilos in six weeks or two kilos over 16 weeks or whatever it was. Or I lost all the weight, but then I put it back on. 
I was, why did you put it back on? So break it down into all those different steps because we want to know what's going on here. Why are we keeping on ending up back in the same place or why are we not fully, fully conquering the pain, the fear, the doubt? So, and the last step here is, oh, what, what would you do differently if you could do this over again? Or what can you do differently now? And say, so, well, okay, in that scenario I just said, I can get a coach. I can get a coach who can set me up with everything that I need to be doing and hold me accountable to be doing what I know I should be doing to achieve the result. And then identifying why it is that that's important to you because if that's not strong, you're not going to keep going. You're going to stop. So pain is difficult. But pain exists to make us greater. And it's by going through the pain, you become a better version of yourself. I think if I didn't go through all the things that I've gone through to bring me to this moment here today, I wouldn't be the person that I am because it's that journey that I've gone on that's created the person that I am now. And if I didn't go through those painful things, if I had no pain, how would I know how hard to push? How would I know what to do? Because I haven't experienced pain before. But when pain is there, yeah, it's painful, but that's what we need to do. Because I know that if I want to build my legs, if I know I want to get a six pack and get a bigger upper body, I know that's going to physically hurt me. I know that I need to push hard in the gym. I know I need to do the exercises. I know that I need to eat lots of food to be able to do that. I know I need to eat the right sorts of foods to be able to do that because I retain more body fat through my midsection. So my abs for me are probably the, the hardest part for me to, to develop properly. So that means I've got to work harder than someone else, then so be it. If I want this badly enough, then I'm prepared to do the work. I know that I have to work hard. I know it's going to be painful. And I know that sometimes I'm not going to want to eat that extra cup of vegetables, but I know that I need to if I want to get the outcome that I'm truly looking for. You can have some doubts about the work that you put in and is it going to really pay off? What if I leave this high six-figure paying executive job to go and run my own business and I can't make it work? Well, my answer to that was, I love this so much, I'm going to make it work. It doesn't matter what anyone else says, I'll just make it work because this is so important to me. You just do it. You just make it work no matter what. You find a way. And most people in this day and age don't do that. People aren't res as resilient as we would like them to be. People aren't great problem solvers. So we need to keep digging. We need to keep pushing. We need to become stronger. So what I've given you here today is just five little steps that, that I would use to go through a situation that has been hanging around for a while. Now, I did this uh, with uh, my business, uh, changing career, and I've done this with uh, my relationships as well, and say, well, gosh, these are all the things that they're causing me. This is what I've done in the past. This is what I need to do now. These were the actions, or the results of the actions I took in the past clearly left me in the same cycle, so we need to do things differently. We need to shake it up, and sometimes that takes some significant action. Now, I'm not suggesting that you all go out there and leave your relationships. Don't take it that way. It's just that I was in situations where um, that had to occur for me. The point is there's pain for all of us, there's fear for all of us, there's doubt for all of us. It might be around having a discussion um, an opportunity that may come up. It might be a business-related matter and you're fearful about having the discussion with somebody because 
you're fearful of the rejection. You're fearful of them saying no. At the end of the day, you've got a 50-50 chance. If you don't ask, it's always no. If you ask, well, you've got a 50% chance of it being yes. So why not just ask? And the first time you do that, it's going to be hard. Second time, maybe easier. Third time, it becomes a little bit easier. The hundredth time that you ask somebody, then it's going to be pretty easy because you're so rehearsed in it. So just like anything in life, if we want to get good at something, we need to practice it. And we need to practice facing our pain, our fear, our doubts, and finding a way to conquer them. I think if you can clearly articulate it, what are the emotions really stirring up in here for you and analysing those, and are they real emotions that we're feeling there? Or are we just getting um, you know, too wound up over no reason for it? What are you doing about it? Are you just rethinking it and carving it up in different ways over and over again? Well, that's no good. Just start creating what-if scenarios for you. Uh, we've got to break through that. What were the outcomes that you were getting from it? Probably nothing because it's still hanging around. So we need to conquer it and then work out what do you need to do differently? What's the action that you need to take? You're a smart person. You can work this out. You are a success in what it is that you do. Sometimes you just need to have a little bit of belief in the fact of what you're truly capable of. My number one tip, you realize you need to do something, you're not exactly sure what to do, you find the coach that has been through this scenario many, many times before and you get them to coach you through it. And that's why I have such a successful business in helping people with weight loss. People know that they need to do something and they know that, oh, well, geez, I probably should be eating more of this and less of that and moving more and stuff. But they don't know how to put the whole thing together in a way that's a nice package that's manageable for them. So it's about coming up with workable solutions for you that you can sustain forever. So let's crush this pain, fear and doubt this year because you can make 2021 this your absolute best year ever if you want to. And guess what? Somewhere in there, it's going to involve going through pain, being emotional, having doubts and fears about everything that we do. But you can do it. Hey, if I can go through all these things and become a greater version as a result, add this to your list in facing these things. Know that on the other side of this, it may not be immediately on, sometimes it's on the, um, you know, immediately on the other side of a discussion or a conversation or, you know, an agreement, whatever it is. But other times it could be days, weeks, months, years, maybe down the track where you realize that what you were just given in that pain that you went through was the best gift that you could ever be given. And that's the way that I look at my experience as a kid when I was bullied. I often look back to it now and think, wow, I should be really grateful for that because that caused so much pain in me that it wasn't a great uh, time for me in my life then. But little did I know that when I got to where I am now, that it would be one of the major sources of my transformation in my life. It may have taken me a couple of decades to see that, but that's what happened. And I think if you find and ask yourself the questions about the most painful things that happen to you in your life, how can you grow from it? Where's the opportunity here? You start to look at things differently. And rather than looking at it as pain, you see it as the gift that it truly is. Because everything does happen for a reason. And sometimes it shows up in a way that we really don't want. But when you really analyze it under the microscope, you can see, wow, actually, do you know what? That was actually a really great gift for me. I just didn't see it at the time. It's all there. It's all opportunity. It's all for our taking. Stay safe wherever you are. If you need to reach out to me, go to the mental toughness and body show.com. Opt in for a free consultation there and let's start a conversation. See you tomorrow.